And welcome everyone to Bark in the Park. And we are looking live overhead in Riverfront Park on a beautiful evening as we celebrate dogs. Before the ribbon becomes ice and their snow is falling, we thought what better way to celebrate the end of summer than to turn the ice ribbon in Riverfront Park into a runway. And so we have a little paw parade going on here today as we celebrate our shelter animals from Spoke Animal. And we have had multiple, multiple adoptions already and more to go tonight as we continue our special edition of Crempty News and Bark in the Park. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Papetti and thanks for being with us live here tonight as we get ready to not only celebrate the dogs that are here tonight up for adoption, but celebrate all the shelter dogs out there and all the families that have adopted dogs. And we've got the parade, as you can see right behind me, all these little cuties here have already been adopted and they are spectacular. And there's lots of love and lots of hugs, lots of licks, and lots of chaos here tonight at Riverfront Park. And we've been having a great time. So we are going to celebrate all these puppies here tonight and all these people oh look at this little one well hi you just you're done and you just want to have your moment in the sun as you should and already been adopted Tula the first one adopted she's number one she was the first one this is Tulip, everyone. We had Tulip on the morning show this morning, and she is so cute. Her nickname, by the way, Sausage, but uh-uh. We're only celebrating her cuteness, not her girth here tonight. You go have a good time and enjoy your new family. We're also going to celebrate all the folks who sent us pictures in our Bark in the Park photo contest, and there were many, 310 entries, and we have a few of the winners here tonight. But first, I have to introduce some of the humans making tonight possible. We have Mark Hanrahan and Jay McCarthy standing by with more on Bark in the Park. Well, hi everyone. Welcome to Bark in the Park. It's a scene out here, man. A lot man. of people. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of dogs. It is so exciting. All the Spoke Animal volunteers are here and a lot of people came down with their own dogs just mm -hmm. to meet and greet and they're so cute. Yeah, take a look at all these dogs right here. Yeah, and you know what? Let's talk about why this is close to our heart as well. Mark and I both adopted pups from Spoke Animal. Mm -hmm. I have my dog Daphne right. and also my little dog Joey. I don't think you're looking at Joey. I think you're looking at a picture of Daphne right now and then also Mark's dog Luna. Adopted Luna about six months ago. She is awesome. She is a mutt and she is perfect. Exactly. Right? Joey, your dog, by the way, is a spitfire. <laughs> all right. If you come back out to us live on camera, Let's talk a little bit about what's going on tonight. Some facts. Spoke Animal has brought in 45 dogs for this event. These ones here behind us with the red bandanas on, they have been adopted. They're doing kind of a walk the red carpet, except they're walking on the ice rink. Well, what is the ice rink during the winter time around? So uh, there are a lot of dogs here coming from a lot of different places yes. around the country, different shelters, uh, from some difficult situations, mm -hmm. some even coming far away by airplane. Yeah, you know, also we want to take a look at some video what we shot earlier today because a lot of these dogs yeah. just arrived in town. Wings of Rescue just flew in a flight from Texas, landed in Coeur d'Alene late this afternoon. So Spoke Animal did some very brief personality testing, and then they brought the dogs that were deemed ready for adoption. They also brought a pig, by the way. So already seasoned travelers, these dogs ready for rest and relaxation and just a loving home, and they're very deserving, of course. And we want to bring in a dog that has yet oh, to yes. be adopted and we love him. We've already fallen in love. I think my favorite part aside from just the dog is his name. And what's his name? Vern. <laughs> and Vern is five years old. Vern and is five years old. You know, he's kind of a mix of different things. Yeah, yeah? maybe a little poodle or not. And he just got a haircut. He did just get groomed up at PetSmart South. Wow, he's a good looking dog. Vern is still available for adoption. Yeah, as are a lot of dogs. Actually, right. the dogs that you saw walking around the rink here, they have been adopted, but there are several dogs, dozens of dogs that are outside the rink right now if you see a dog that's wearing a red bandana that is outside mm -hmm. of the rink that means that they are still up available right. for adoption. We mentioned the number about 45 dogs brought in for this event to be adopted. If they are not adopted, they'll head back to Spoke Animal, mm -hmm. where they will eventually find their forever home. Look at all these cuties. I Can know, you right? believe that? There's a tutu oh, on right there. Oh, a tutu. Yeah, I've seen a Seahawks outfit. We had outfit. him on Creme 2 News earlier this week right there. That's Jerry. That's Jerry. Right. Jerry with a mohawk. We love it. <laughs> all right, we're going to send it over to Laura Papetti with more on adoptions right now.
Well, it's been a little bit chaotic tonight, but a whole lot of fun. And people have shown extraordinary kindness and patience here tonight. Uh, here's how it all worked, by the way. We had people lining up this afternoon before we even got down here. Uh, we had uh, folks lining up to be the first 20 in line. And that's because uh, Terry's Truck Center underwrote the first 20 adoptions. And so those adoption fees were waived. And so people were lining up to get the dogs that they wanted. And so uh, the first 20 were given tickets and then started picking up dogs. So we had so many dogs adopted so quickly. It was fantastic and a little bit overwhelming, but Spokanimal handled it like champs. So we appreciate that. None of this happens, by the way, without um, so many uh, great relationships and partnerships. And we want to say thank you to our new Pick of the Litter sponsor, Country Store, uh, came out tonight and handed out these swag bags to all the families that are adopting dogs. Just filled it with treats from all their vendors and uh, handed the bags and also then uh, awarded a really great prize to the first dog adopted in and the person that adopted them. So we say thank you to Country Store again, our new partners in helping save more animals here in the Inland Northwest with our great partnership with Spoke Animals. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, let me show you what's happening. As you can see, the dogs continue uh, to make their way around the ribbon. We're down here at the ice ribbon and you can see they're just strutting their stuff with their new scarves that they have on with Bark in the Park on it. Uh, and they are so cute. And many of these have already found new homes after just arriving, some of them, uh, on a flight. Wings of Rescue on a flight that came in from Texas just a couple of hours ago. So, uh, so, so much fun. You can see they're all dressed up in their finery. Uh, all of them, as you can see, have people that are walking with them. And that's because each dog was assigned a volunteer from Spoke Animal. And so if you want to get involved with Spoke Animal, we encourage you to do so. Uh, volunteering is so much fun down at the shelter and they need really good volunteers to make all of this happen. And tonight we have had over 40 volunteers to, to pull this off. So we say thank you to those volunteering. And if you want to get involved, contact Spoke Animal. You can also always make a donation. We've been running their website at the bottom of the screen and we'll continue to do so throughout the show tonight here bark in the park also want to say thank you to everyone who submitted those pictures bark in the park photo contest huge success over 300 entries so coming up we're going to join our human friend from creme 2 jen york and she is standing by with some of the winners and we'll check in with them coming up after the break you're watching bark in the park a creme 2 special live from riverfront park